FF assignment on the operating system. Now I would like to show you how to re-customize Ubuntu in easy ways. Before we do that, there is some step we like to do like this one, the customization that has been done. Minimum is uh, theme, icon font, wallpaper, splash screen, evac layer with compass or the others and emerald. Okay, for the source one theme. For the for the theme, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna using the tools called Ubuntu Tweak. Okay. Ubuntu Tweak is a uh, tools that really easy to use yeah I recommend it using uh, <coughs> Ubuntu Tweak although there is some program that on the internet that uh, has the same function but I recommend it to the Ubuntu Tweak okay let's search it Ubuntu Tweak <coughs> And then, oh, uh, like this, tweak, and then go to the theme, uh, like this, and do what to do, like, like this, alright, and you can maybe do dark, uh, okay, like this, yeah, it's up to you, I prefer, I prefer, Great. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention how to <coughs> install Ubuntu Tweak. Uh, okay, the first step is uh, add the repository of the Ubuntu Tweaks. This man. Wait for a minute and enter. Wait, waiting. <coughs> and then, okay. And then we would like to update the repository. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Wait for a minute. I just cancelled it because I already installed it. And then I name it is that you will do yeah like this. Okay, you already got it. That's how we change our theme. And then what else? The icon. You can use the Ubuntu tweak to change the icon. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Uh, like in here. <coughs> It's up to you whether what you like to do like this. It talks win, yeah. Here you see that there is some um, differences between the icon uh, like this. It's changed that. Okay. Even the tweak is the uh, most convenient tools in the internet, I suppose. And then font. For the font, yeah, like this. You can change the default font, the desktop font, and like this, it's up to you now. What you would like to, to change the font, the document font, the window title brown font, and extra. And then the wallpaper. For the wallpaper, you can just type, oops, sorry, just type, change desktop background. And then, yeah, just what you like, like this, yeah. <coughs> or you want to add from the outside, just click plus, and then browse for the pictures. You need to set a background, okay? Okay, and then for this plus screen, I recommend it using. Uh, okay, for how 
how we change our splash screen I recommend you using these tools yeah this play mode manager why I just because this is the most easiest tools I've ever tried I already tried some other tools like group manager group changer group customizer and it is but this is the most easy ways the first one copy this at the repository I <coughs> the earlier and then click enter and wait for a second then okay don't forget to add a min get then update it will take a while Okay, let's just skip it. It will take too long. Do that. Apt Immediate. Type Apt Immediate Install. Play Mode Manager. Okay. After this one, because it's already installed, so already the newest version. If you already install it, just do this and then type. Play mode manager, okay, like this, and then times, uh, and this is the list of the splash screen you can change. Like this, the Apple one, and then the Kubuntu, Lubuntu. If I want to apply the Lubuntu, just apply, and then this. Okay, wait for the computer to generate the splash screen. Uh, for this one, just type the number you want. You want. Okay, so let's see it. This the Ubuntu okay. That's for the splash screen, and then we're going to play with the compass. Okay, I really like compass because it has so many effect, unique effect, I can say, and then. Oh yeah, you can change this. This is the logo of the information system. 
because it's not uh, yeah, I don't know how to move it to the upper one so I'm just like And then for the next one, we would like to going to play with compass. Before that, uh, like the only one, we are going to install the compass first. Okay, the first one open the terminal. password and then <coughs> we did this one install compass if your uh, Ubuntu version is 12 or more the compass it's already installed but the manager the settings manager is not installed so I suppose you have to install this one Okay, already installed. If you already installed this one, just type CCSM, Compass Config Settings Manager. Okay, here we go. Yeah, like this, that's the effect of the compass. Yeah, like what effect? I will try to show you how to paint fire. Particle size as was and then your final become is uh, and then the particle color is red. Okay, that's as if wow, yeah, like this. You can do it like this. Uh, so awesome, you can change the randomly color file like this, it's more beautiful. And yeah. Wow. Okay. That's for the if paint fire on the screen and then for the next one is the woobly windows. Yeah, the woobly windows in effect is like like this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah, it's like that. Okay. And for the animations, <coughs> the open animations, yeah, like this. Uh, the airplane and then target thousand if you open the home folder like that it's pretty cool right it's pretty cool and then you can um, I, I really like the burn one this Poof. Particles animations is the same, just uh, the burn light or what is it? Uh, the random. We type it from the topic and then if we close it, the animation move. And we open it again, then move. Yeah, different animation, right? For the minimize animations, yeah, same. <coughs> oh, that is pretty too. Minimize. For minimize. Oh, like this. Oh, yeah. That shape animation, focus animation, effect settings. Yeah. Oh yeah, pay attention to this one. The animation add-ons must be more. Yeah, if you just mark this one but not this one, the animation will not work. Like uh, fraction two, yeah, yeah, 
uh, that is some kind of reflection, right? If your eyes is sharp, the pen is isn't sharp, it's okay. Okay, for that's for the compass config. You can explore it by yourself. Uh, and the contrast one is annotated. You can uh, <coughs> write down in your desktop. Clear up. Yeah. Clear out. Super is the Windows logo in your keyboard. Yeah. Super is the Windows logo in your keyboard. Super so W. Run. That is for the It's pretty much updated pretty many in the Windows Config Settings Manager. And you can, uh, oops, sorry. you can do a Cairo dot. Okay, and uh, there is one the application like. Rocket Dog in Windows, it's called <coughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> DGLX Cairo Dog. It's more likely the Rocket Dog in Linux. Yeah, yeah, it's so that calculator because you can check into this one. Okay, for the Emerald or Mercedes, Emerald is I think is the same, yeah. same as Ubuntu Tui. For yeah, like this, uh, talk about times. Like I said earlier, I prefer uh, Ubuntu Tui rather than Emerald. If you would like to active the Emerald, just go to the terminal. Sudo sudo, root, then Emerald. With this, this will request the time. Like this, if you turn into that one, it means that Emerald has been activated. Okay, this. Today for the free customers of Ubuntu. Don't forget to like or comment on my video because this is the most important assignment in my life. Okay, thank you for your attention and have a nice day.